Welcome to Healthy Planet, the show for people who care about their health and the health of our planet on the Think Tech live streaming network series. I'm your host, Dr. Grace O'Neill. Joining me today is Stephanie Fan, the commissioner of the Siji Foundation of Hawaii. Today, we're going to talk about the wellness center that's opening there. So let's get started. Tell us exactly what the Siji Foundation is and how it got started. Okay, Siji was founded like, I don't know, almost 60 years ago in Taiwan uh, by our founder, Master Chen Yan. And um, it's a charity organization actually um, locally is founded like 27 years ago. And um, so we started out, we had a free clinic in downtown. We, um, we actually do a lot of charity work when there is a disaster, uh, our our people are there. So for example, Ukraine, uh, we have people there already now. Um, but locally, um, for for example, when there is a volcano uh, eruptions, uh, we went to the volcano uh, site, we actually help out and give up debit cards. When recent flood uh, on the island, uh, our team also uh, work with Red Cross to give out uh, debit cards. In On our Kaimuki office, we actually run a Chinese school uh, for, we call it Zizi Academy, uh, for those who are interested in learning uh, Chinese culture and also uh, the language. So haven't you guys also done work with the homeless and you give out food to the homeless, I understand? It's oh. mostly plant, I think it's all plant-based food actually. Right, so uh, not in the, during the pandemic. Uh, we actually did some, but then uh, before the pandemic, we used to go and we would serve, um, you know, we would call it five-star restaurant experiences. We will uh, provide whole food plant-based diet and actually uh, we don't just kind of like cook and in in the fashion, we, we want to like serve with a restaurant experiences. So with, you know, fresh foods and, and all the whole food and things like that for, for the um so, for example, we go to the uh, IHS. Now uh, we have been doing that. And how often uh, were you doing that before the pandemic? In the for the homeless, uh, because basically on our site we kind of like offer uh, when when our when when there's a, any gathering we actually offer a vegetarian diet. And so, but then at the with the homeless population, it depends. But usually we do it quarterly. Mm-hmm. And the food that you guys have, in, that's mostly cooked by volunteers, I understand? Right, exactly. Yeah. And are you guys transitioning to completely plant-based without dairy as well? Right. So, so um, what happened is our teacher, Master Ching Yan, has been promoting whole food. Whole food plant, she, she didn't really talk about whole food plant-based diet, but you know, just vegetarian diet. Uh, looking at how the world is now, how, uh, you know, consumptions of uh, meat and, and beef and these things actually create a problem for our planet. So, um, and and how, according to Bruce's teaching, how important it is to kind of like give rise to that heart compassion as you kind of vow that I want to become a, you know, I don't want to eat meat. And so that's uh, that has been always our, our our mission, but for me, it has been very hard. I, I, I feel that, you know, you, you don't want to teach anyone like, you know, this is the right way to do because you had to respect everyone. So the way that we've been promoting is that it will be good to eat more vegetable and less, uh, you know, less meat and that, 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 you know, that aspect. But ever since when we found out that 21 day kickstart, because in Malaysia and in Taiwan, because in Taiwan, our organization had about seven, seven hospital and, and they were promoting the 21 day kickstart and with tremendous health effect. So with that, I kind of like gave us a confidence that we should promote it because if you're going to talk about the health of the planet, sometimes people just say, okay, you know, you can do that, but don't, you know, I don't want you to kind of like, you know, sort of judge me on that. So for us is that, you know, it's good for your, your, your health. And if you can try to do it uh, more, eat more vegetable, it's good for your, your, your own health, but it's also good for the uh, planet Earth also. Yeah. So what happened with the 21 day kickstart? I think they had it in Taiwan and Malaysia and what other countries did they have these? Indonesia um, basically is many of the, um, you know, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, 
Uh, but then, you know, USA is the hardest one to get started. Oh. So, you know, Hawaii actually was the first one to kind of say, we're going to do it. I don't know how long we have been working on this. Yeah, and we actually awesome. get, uh, you know, several restaurants say that they will support us and we were working on it. We want to like, provide 21 day of whole food plant-based diet uh, for people to join us and, and have them kind of see, you know, the difference when you kind of like commit to this kind of diet. Mm -hmm. But what happened is because it's the cost. And recently, because, you know, the, the inflation, everything, yeah. uh, we feel that it's important. We, we need to start no matter what, and especially with everything's open up. So actually, uh, starting this Saturday, we're actually, uh, every Saturday, we're pro providing, we're basically inviting our members to come in and, and just try it out and, and be healthy. And, you know, after the, uh, after the pandemic, I'm saying after the pandemic, you know, when yeah, now that it's opening, but it may, uh, because on the, the first week, Saturday, May, we actually have what we call a Buddha bathing day, which is a day that celebrate, uh, just like how we celebrate, um, you know, Jesus birthday, uh, I mean, Christmas and the, the, the Buddhists celebrate, uh, you know, Buddha's birthday on Buddha bathing day. So we actually, um, um, the first week of May, we are actually having a what we call Buddha bathing day celebration. So, but then the week after we're gonna have a three week of uh, people need to sign up uh, to try it out a, like a 21 day kickstart, but it's only on Saturday that we're all offering uh, the vegetarian diet and people, but you had to sign out, it's gonna be a limited number. But we're working yes, on that. Sure it's now. actually a whole foods plant-based diet, correct? We're trying to do a whole foods plant-based diet. Right. It's going to be 21 days and anybody can sign up. So even, you know, people who are not part of the temple yet, and how would people sign up for it? And what's the cost? Where is there a website people can go to at this time? Oh, at this time, we're still working on the website, but uh, it will be coming out soon. They're working on the Google form for people to, to sign up because yeah. right now I was told that uh, they're, they're going to limit in numbers, but, you know, we're hoping that we can get as many as possible. Everything's free, you know, free, whole food plant based diet for lunch. Mm -hmm. And also we will have exercise, uh, you know, uh, information regarding how to go about, uh, you know, living more healthily. Yes. And. I think it's great that everybody can sign up and it's free of cost because the problem we were having with the 21 day kickstart and for those of you know those out there that do not know what the 21 day kickstart is it's a program that was kind of first started by the physicians committee for responsible medicine and there's actually an app that you can download where they have different recipes and people were going to just try being vegan for you know or plant-based for 21 days and it's the theory is that it takes 21 days to sort of change your palate and and kind of get rid of all the bad stuff you've been eating like you know sugar salt oily foods and kind of restart your palate and then you know kind of start from there and it's also a small time period so people aren't in intimidated because if people say, oh, I'm going plant-based right away, it's kind of overwhelming for people. But 21 days, anybody can do anything for 21 days. And so that was the theory behind that. And we had tried to, um, you know, I was working with Stephanie trying to get the 21 day kickstart going, but it, the cost was quite costly. And if you thought about it, you know, breaking it down meal per meal, it might have not been a lot, but just having all those meals together for a person to pay for that. And then the delivery and pickup was a little bit difficult. Now in these other countries that they've done it very successfully, the cost of food is a lot less expensive there. Mm -hmm. I mean, how much did, do you have any idea how much the food costs for those participants over there? I think it's about $4 uh, per yeah, meal. Yeah, I mean, that's so affordable. Here, so here is possible. Yeah. So. Yeah, here, I mean, we were trying to have $15 per meal, but, you know, it adds up because you have, you know, we were offering lunch and dinner, so that's $30 per day, 30 times 210, that's already, you know, 630 or something, right? So um, it was quite pricey for people, you know, just for 21 days, but, you know, just this imagining, right? So if it's, if, if you do have a healthy conditions and if you need to go see, go see the physician and this can be an opportunity to, to kind of like, you know, improve your health and just imagining that, that, that it, to go see the physician or the kind of cause it will take, right? So exactly. it's not really expensive, but then it just, uh, for most people, you just don't, you, it's beyond, I mean, people would not think that it's worth that. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy what people think 
is expensive because that's true that, you know, you might think, well, it's really expensive to pay for this food, but would you rather be paying for more expensive food that's healthy or paying for high blood pressure medications and surgeries and other procedures and, you know, doctor visits, which is definitely more unpleasant. And, you know, we wanted to show people through this 21 day kickstart that actually plant-based food can be delicious and people don't always realize that, but actually I will say, because I go to the Siji foundation as a volunteer, the food is very delicious and the volunteer cooks there are wonderful. So, you know, hopefully some of you will, who are, you know, trying to convert to a plant-based diet will come and, you know, taste the food and try it out. So tell us more about the, um, I mean, I guess if you could show some of the pictures now, Eric, with the, the pictures that we have over there. Um, so, so I think what I want to explain is that um, because this organization begin really is a charity organization, we do a lot of charity work, but uh, charity begin with ourselves, right? So when we start looking at uh, the way that, that what we can do for uh, the local population and it, it begins with health and we feel that a center for health and wellness with all the things that we do and coming together uh, can, can truly serve our, our local population. And that's why uh, we started out, we've been working on this for quite some time now, but it, it takes effort because we're all volunteers. And, but we have this conviction that if we work together, uh, things can change. So uh, we even have like, you know, starting out doing the gardening, right? So, so there are several things that are happening, but- uh, the pictures of the gardening, Eric? Yes, she has pictures of the garden, yeah. So right, so uh, it, I didn't show you how it was like, okay? So, but it, it was that the, the, the whole yard was in boys and plant. Yeah. Yeah. Well. And then recently we have uh, someone from the vegan society actually kind of helping us and she he becomes our volunteer. He has worked on the, the yard constantly. And then, you know, we have a lot of, uh, you know, other volunteers coming in to help. And so like today, they were actually uh, cooking some of the uh, out of their harvest uh, at our office right now. So. So what do you t- currently have growing in the garden then, Stephanie? So some of the squash, the Chinese squash, and, and then we had it, uh, all kinds of, veg- I mean, vegetable, tomatoes, and then we also have that, that um, basil, things like kind of the spices, and then also, you know, oh, they had the pumpkin, right? So they also had some fruits. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So, I mean, it's great to see things go from garden to table too. So if anybody's also interested in being a volunteer, what about people interested in volunteering? How can they start volunteering, you know, either through the garden or, you know, if they're interested in, um, you know, for our wellness classes, doing the yoga or uh, other things, how can people get involved if they're interested? Uh, They can go on our website and there's this volunteer. You had to go to the Pacific Island region and then, well, you don't have to. You just go to the website and there is this volunteering, uh, www.cg.us, something like that. So, mm-hmm. And uh, you'll be able to, uh, you know, there is this volunteer um, tab that you can uh, write down and apply for it. You can also call our office, um, 808 737 8885. That's yeah. our office number, 808 737 8885. And, you know, and come on in and just join us, be part of this group that promoting vegetarian, whole food, plant-based diet, and, and also do something good for ourselves, right? You can do gardening, you can go out. We also do, right now we don't do it. Uh, we're going back, we have been like doing the uh, Palolo Chinese home. We haven't worked with them. Uh, we call this the Heart Little, Heart Little Slide program, which means that, you know, in everyone's heart, there is, a lotus, you know how lotus is, right? The lotus come out from the mud, but it remain pure and fresh, right? And and mm-hmm. and uh, so and fragrant. So we hope that every one of us will come to this place, not only uh, come in and and really like take every what whatever obstacle in this world, we'll, we'll take that as nutrients. And and the same way, not only we have food for thoughts, and we also want to uh, you know really take on healthy diet physically. 
Yeah, so I think that's great. I mean, with the wellness, let's go through the wellness program a little bit more. So we have, um, what are the components you're going to have? Aren't there specific components? Like there's going to be a food portion, obviously, and, you know, trying to teach people how to make delicious plant-based food. So then- number one, right? So number one, you can see one of the, uh, the PowerPoint has all the um, recipe that we have yeah. been putting on every Wednesday on the Honolulu Advertiser. Next one, uh, there is a, a whole group of um, you know, recipe that we do it every Wednesday. You'll be able to see the, uh, the, the, the picture of the, the pictures. Yeah, of, of the, uh, you can actually get the recipe. But then that's one part. And the other part is, um, it, you know, and so you can, right there. So basically is that that's on one part we want to promote the vegetarian diet this way that we've been getting phone call. Uh, people who kind of like learn about the recipe and they want to come in. And when they call, we ask them, come on in, just meet our different volunteer chef. And then, you know, they can discuss about how to cook a better meal or something like that. So to begin so with on, that, the, on the website, are those recipes? I can't quite see it that well, but um, this is on Star Bulletin's website. <laughs> Oh, okay. So there's it's not, it's not people can go and try and to. We're get- right now putting into ours. So we're working on to get mm-hmm. those into our, uh, the Center for Health and Wellness. And the other part is what we call the Healthy Lifestyle Project, right? So what we're trying to do, we're going to do workshop, you know, with physicians joining us, giving workshops at the the one in May is part of the Healthy Lifestyle Project where you just kind of like want to kick it start when people like kind of like promote it, come together, have some, you know, and be able to kind of do some exercise, yoga, it's Tai Chi, and just to get it started. But we also have what we call uh, community classes. So because we, in our side, there are quite a lot of classes, uh, no classroom, and uh, we're working to get more people to kind of join us and to be, be able to offer uh, classes like Tai Chi, uh, you know, different kind of um, yoga and, and different kind of classes, meditation. Yeah. So, right? And then we're also, well, I mean, also the wellness program, planning to have different physicians talk about different aspects of right. wellness right. as well. Right. So um, I'll be talking about, you know, obviously diets, mm-hmm. how to sort of optimize weight loss, and also, you know, how to kind of optimize your other medical problems like high blood pressure, diabetes, um, you know, the big ones that most people right. in the United States have. So, um, you know, Dr. Lok Young, I don't, I don't know whether you know him, but he has been like uh, coming out and talk about how important uh, sleep uh, for everyone's health. And so we're hoping that he can come on and, and share with everyone regarding, you know, how to have like sound sleep that would be great. And, and be effective in terms of helping our own health. Something well, like who that. did you say that was, Stephanie? I didn't quite catch uh, that. Dr. Lok Wood Young. Oh, he's a retired oh. uh, OBGYN, but. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I, I, were you going to, just in case people are interested, were you guys planning on, I think we were planning on recording the sessions too, right? Um, or I don't know if people will be able to watch through Zoom. Was there any intention? Well, that's a good idea. I think, I think we should, we should, uh, you I know. I think that's a good idea. Know, just, we should make it available for people to join us or uh, having the recording done. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so. just in case the pandemic comes back or anything, you know. Right. Yeah. So, so, uh, so what happened is Dr. C.D. Lai, because remember Katie, uh, our younger uh, volunteer, uh, they kind of presented to Dr. C.D. Lai because Dr. Shirley Chen is coming this Saturday, right? So they kind of promoted to Dr. C.D. Lai. And Dr. Lai really liked this idea because we had the free clinic before. We actually have a dental clinic in Chinatown. We, done, we, we had it since 1998 to 2015. And then, because they're not after the Obamacare, and there's not as much, uh, you know, patient, and then the rent was so high, so we kind of canceled it. Uh, in terms of, so we just continued the, the, the. Um, the, the service in Chinatown, but then we started having the service at our Kamaki office for some time. But somehow uh, later on, you know, we, it becomes referral service. If, if we really need someone who needs some kind of service and we try to refer them. So this time again, when Dr. Lai listened to what we kind of presented, he's really happy. You think that a Center for Health and Wellness is what you know, our organization would really like to provide for the local, you know, our residents and Kamuki and beyond can come and and enjoy one another, enjoy the food, enjoy the exercise, enjoy healthy together, something like that. 
I mean, you can also come if you don't live in Kaimuki, correct? You can come from Kapolei, Wai, 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 wherever is there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, because there's people, there's members like, you know, Betty, right? She lives very yeah. far away and same right. with Wendy. So, right. So, so basically, because we have a Chinese school on Saturday and Sunday. So there, that is still going on. Uh, we, you know, we are looking at, so basically is we also offer scholarship but for, for fin with those with financial needs. Um, and another one that we really like to do, I think we have it on, on the slide, is the what we call the high school Cisao program. Huh. Um, the high school Cisao program for Ciji um, is basically they it's they're connected to the presidential uh, volunteer, you know, um, some kind of present. I think I have it on there. So uh, Louisa, who's in charge of this, um, and right now, starting in April, we're actually having this Earth Day celebration. There will be a group of young people working with us and try to gain uh, more hours in through their volunteer work. And there is actually a, a scale. You know, if you kind of volunteer 250 hours. Uh, for a high school student, or 150, I'm sorry, 150 hours, you actually get a medal from uh, this year from President Biden, right? So, uh, oh, nice. That's yeah. awesome. Right. So this one is actually what our young people did is to uh, gathering book for the uh, on the Wainai uh, population there, why some of the Wainai school there. Uh, so that's that's one of the things that that right now currently we try to get young people to come join us to do uh, different kinds of uh, volunteer work, um, and and because we partner with also with Red Cross, and so there are other work that we can do as a team. Yeah. So how did you uh, manage to get the medal from uh, President Biden? I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a, I, I think it's uh, our national project. It's our Ciji USA national um, team actually connect with what, you know, that committee. And then we're part, we're one of the organization that are connected. So anyone who volunteer with us, they actually, to, up to a certain point, they will be recognized even with adults also. Oh, nice, nice. That's wonderful. Yeah. I mean, um, in the meantime, uh, before May, if people are interested in a plant-based diet, um, is there anything that they can do besides waiting? Can they go to Suji? I mean, just randomly show up or what? What can people do? I, I think I think this is what we need to do. We actually haven't done this yet, but uh, people have been calling. So again, they can call our tell our office number, 808-737-8885. Uh, you can call this number. Uh, another thing is, you know, you can drop by on um, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But it's it's better that you call first, so that we know that we have we need to get an extra uh, pair of chopsticks and, and more food for for someone to join us for lunch. Sometime. Yeah. Yes, that's great. So, I mean, I think this is a great resource for the public. And I don't know, um, it's, it's just wonderful that something like this is available for people because a lot of people, you know, we used to have the Ornish program, but now, you know, due to the COVID pandemic, it was hard to keep that going. So now there's sort of an alternative to that. And so it'll be kind of great if this really takes off. So... I, I, I certainly hope so, but it takes yeah. time to effort. And, and yeah. we just kind of like, we actually had a meeting, Betty was just saying that, you know, we need to just try it. And so that's why it may originally, they were like, are we okay? You know, are we going to do this? And, mm -hmm. and in the end, everyone says that, let's just move it. And from that three weeks, we'll gain some experiences and then we can talk about the next stage. But we kind of want to put that, you know, our, our vision there. And that's why we come up with this, uh, the, the, um, the webpage, right? So we're not completely there, but we're setting up the webpage for us to go move to that direction. And we, we're very convinced that uh, it can help. Yeah, I think it's great. So if anybody wants this, you know, just put it on their calendar. The first Saturday or the first three Saturdays in May, that's when the program is going to start. It comes, to, it goes from 10 to 12. So uh, contact the Siji Foundation, either call them or you can also just show up in Kaimuki. It's right beyond where the Goodwill was on, what's the street it's on? It's on Wilhelmina Rise, correct? Right, Willow Mineral Rice. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, eight. Uh, Willow Mineral Rice. Um, but yeah, so definitely 
keep it on your calendar and we hope to see you. And um, we're unfortunately out of time now, so we're gonna have to wrap it up. Uh, again, I'm Dr. Grace O'Neill. This is Healthy Planet on the Think Tech live streaming network series. We've been talking with Stephanie Fan, the commissioner of the Siji Foundation. Thanks to you all for being here. Thanks to Eric, our broadcast engineer, and the rest of the crew at ThinkTech for hosting our show. And thanks to you, our listeners, for listening. I'll see you on April 14th for more of Healthy Planet on ThinkTech, the show for people who care about their health and the health of our planet. Our next show will be about the Hawaiian monk seal and feature Dr. Sophie Wariski of the Marine Mammal Center. If you have ideas for the show, please contact me at healthyplanetthinktech at gmail.com. Check out my website at graceinhawaii.com for more information on my projects, including future show guests. I'm Dr. Grace O'Neill. Aloha, everyone. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.